Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Mullen, and this is more of Far Cry 6, in which we are, as you do in these games, going in a direction. I am going up there. Um... Hold on. I missed. I misclicked. Weird. Got it. Caught it. Saw it. I didn't go up here before. Is there any stuff up here? Apparently there was some pistol ammo. I mean... I wouldn't say I make ammo. I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I make ammo. I wouldn't say I make money. But, I mean, it's more like I make attention. The way the, tw the Twitch algorithm works is that... Let's say you're somebody who has three viewers. Like, one could argue I currently do, even though my viewer count is clearly wrong because people are talking to me. <laughs> it says I have one viewer, but, like, at least two of you are out there. Um... So, when you search for a game, let's say, like Far Cry 6, and you want to see somebody playing it, um, if you scroll down at the bottom, everybody who's got a low viewer count is all clumped up together. But, if you run approximately three minutes worth of ads every hour, as I try to do, and is the minimum ask of Twitch, um, you'll actually be placed higher in the people who have low viewer counts, than the people who are just low viewer counts and not running ads. So it makes it a little bit more likely that I'm going to be seen, but the problem is that the on top of that, and people hating ads... Dada, one second. I just found a major factory in El Este. I don't know what's happening there, but the smell is burning my nose hairs. Sounds like one of the government's acid plants. Go from making poison and a convenient place to make outcasts disappear. Danny, see if the soldados are holding any hostages there. So, okay, so this, this location on my map is a place, so that's cool, so I'm not wasting my time. But, um, so what happens is, I run ads, and the ads don't make me money unless a number of people are seeing the ads, but generally speaking, I have low viewer counts, the ads might annoy, pe annoy people and turn them off from watching the stream. But, uh, if I don't run the ads, then I'm not likely to be seen by other people who might be casually watching stuff on Twitch. So it's a double-edged sword in which it's kind of lose-lose on both ends. People who are just showing up Better wanting to watch a stream aren't wanting ads. But you're not more likely to get people to show up to see you stream unless you're running ads. I got gorillas upsetting people. I need to not be seen while they're doing whatever they're doing. But I got an intel place right here. Fuck me. Don't shoot this alarm. Okay, we got a sniper over there. Okay, we have an armored um, radio. Actually, we have two armored radios and a sniper tower. Let's check out what the um, laptop says. I unlock this intel ability, which will tag a couple of things on the map for me. They also have an AA gun? I'd like to have everybody tagged if that were possible. So let's go for perception grenade. This looks like a hefty place. Oh no, we got poison dudes. So first things first, I should probably creep up and take out this box. Actually, first things first, we're gonna see if that got, oh no. Wait, I didn't swap out any of my guns. What is going on? Shotgun. Wait, do I have two shotguns? Hold on. Excuse me, use workbench. <laughs> Hold on. Let's reevaluate the situation, Mrs. I'm so original. Um Yeah, Twitch doing Twitch stuff. So yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a whole thing. So imagine you've got like this super list of 
all the people, and you have a bunch of people at the bottom of it who are like one to four viewers or something like that, that portion of the list down there, if I run ads every hour, it'll get me to the top of that for anybody of those people who aren't running ads. But then how are you going to have a conversation with people such as yourself and hope that they're sticking around if they get played ads because you're running ads? So it sucks on both fronts. Playing ads for nobody, playing ads for a few people, playing ads just to get noticed, and it also not getting you money. <laughs> um, since I started doing this in the summer of 2019... Uh, I've gotten one paycheck from Twitch, and that was mostly from that was mostly from um, subscriptions, not ads. Out of like a hundred dollars, uh, three or four bucks were ads. Okay, first of all, okay, I don't. I must have been tweaking the shotgun. Obviously, you gotta have the rocket launcher. So the big problem is, I have this, I have this sniper gun that lets me shoot through objects, which is really cool. But it's also super loud. Do I have anything else that's tweaked out? Oh, these are unique ones that I can't mess with. Uh, Jason says, yeah, that's why some friends keep asking me for doing different kinds of media stuff for them so they get their Twitch viewers from YouTube videos they want me to make for them. Oh, man. I wish I had somebody who was, like, working the... Because on the YouTube side of things, um, you're more likely to get views if you have a custom thumbnail. You're more likely to get views if you have a description. You're more likely to get views if you make in a playlist or multiple playlists. And and so on and so on, stacking. But, like, working on YouTube stuff or uh, editing your videos into more concise videos, like this one right now, when it shows up on YouTube, is going to look like this, where I'm talking to you, but somebody in the future is watching it. We're having this dialogue. Like, um... Hold on. Ray Lutus is firing from the hip. Firing from the hip. When firing from the hip. So I don't need this. That's why that's not on there. Okay, we got large advanced scope, suppressor, armor piercing rounds, high ground sniper, fresh crit clip sniper. First shot after reloading improves damage. I can customize the appearance. Oh, eventually. Universal donor. I got spray cans, whatever, let's go with it. Um, do we have any wolfy charms? What is my current- I don't have a charm. I usually hate charms on my guns, Call of Duty and stuff like that. I got an alligator charm. Mean dog tags, I guess. Nah, that looks silly. Unless we got like a wolfy, I'm not doing it. So, did I... Wait, did I equip it? I didn't equip it. Equip it. Equip is X button. Huzzah! So, yeah, you could make a big difference with your friends. Alright, nobody probably should have seen that. We got another sniper over there, but he's on the roof with somebody. Hold on. Okay. Let's see where this guy walks to. Let's see. That's kind of stuff I do. You say. I'm sorry. Jason says. 
it's the kind of stuff you do for them. Editing, FX, 3D animations, they get their own kind of stuff. you got to be different over content if you want to be seen a lot. I agree. Um, how big is their channel? You got a bunch of viewers? This guy's going to see his friend. Medic, I'll kill him too. All right. He's just standing over that dead guy. Okay. So there are like three guys left. They are all tagged. Like, I put a lot of time and effort into editing my original run of um, XCOM Enemy Within, or not, uh, Chimera Squad. And um, nobody was watching, right? did the thing <laughs> you gotta channel yourself I'm good with media stuff not people and I'm not entertaining I just keep the guys who got the viewers help the guys who got the viewers I mean no uh, editors are super important job uh, my f my favorite channels are the channels in which you can in which you know the editors like you know um, uh, oh wow of course as soon as I say that the, the first editor I was going to name is, um, has escaped my, uh, Lixian. Lixian, who is the editor for Markiplier. And he's like a character who shows up in the videos and stuff like that. Like, that's pretty cool. Good hey. for him. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, hi, dude. Got some intel you for got? you. Best way to resupply? Take it from your enemies. There's an airdrop inbound, and it's ours if you can get there first. Thanks. Um, there is a, uh, there's a streamer I know who's, uh, editor, current editor is Vlad. And, you know, they do the on-screen remarks and stuff with text or occasionally play weird videos that are relevant to what they're, the person who's playing is making a reference to. A BP-2 rifle. It looks like an assault rifle. Do you have that kind of relationship? Do you get to put your own spin on things? Do they? Do people know who you are? I don't know who you are because your your on screen name is Jason Bourne. Unless you're actually named Jason Bourne, which that is a very interesting uh, kind of coincidence. Okay, so I did this area. What's this? Sat sta oh, sat station. That that would take a little effort. Um, let's go up the road to this town. Hola. See, the problem is at the moment. Um, like I. I I'm stuck in this position where I know how much it, how much work and how much uh, it takes to do stuff, but I'm unable to execute on things. I'm really terrible about advertising myself. 
Um, it's hard to get word of mouth out. I mean, you can use exclamation point Discord in the chat to get a link to my Discord server. And anybody else can do that, too. Wait, hold on. Wait, you're just alone by yourself? I'm good. Um, put your own ideas in. People who work for not so famous that people would know who I am. Plus, I don't want them to know. I like being in the background. Oh, that's cool. Like, I, I know all the work and everything that should go into this stuff. I'm just, well, besides being not great at executing it, I'm also poor. And having the Patreon is really handy, but... Basically, what it allows me to do is to eat every month. <laughs> um, without going super into debt, which I kind of, I kind of am slowly bleeding into debt right now. But if I take more time away from streaming to work on the editing, like I can do all kinds of cool editing stuff. Not not three D graphics like you've got, but like I know two D overlays and pacing and clipping things together and making things more succinct. I can do all that. But the more time I spend, the hours I would spend doing that for a 35-minute video, um, it amounts to basically me not streaming one or two entire days in a week. Oh, hello. Is this a checkpoint? <clears throat> I'm sorry, that's a what? EDP booth, sir? Is this actually a checkpoint? I don't... I don't know that little green tower. What's ticking? Oh wait, there's a tripwire here somewhere. Still more tripwire. Damn, still more tripwire. Holy crap. I don't know what you're doing, but I kind of feel like you should die. He's like, thank God it's over. What is what is this thing? Is this a mission base objective later? Or is this something I can and should I got hazes coming up behind me. Where are they? I get experience for killing any of you guys, so... My favorite weapon is a silenced Desert Eagle with red dot and armor-piercing rounds, if you allow suggestion. 
Oh yeah, suggestions are great. Um, what do you got for me? Just trying. The fuck? Uh, I have not finished the main plot of the game, so just avoid spoilers, basically. So, it's an armored wall. What am I, Scorpio? I'm happy to hear that. Oh no. They they blew themselves up. I had nothing to do with that. That wasn't me. I'm going to hit this button now. I don't know what it does. Destroy? What am I destroying? What is this? Is it a jammer? Um real quick. Vehicle pickup points. I need vehicle. What is it called? Vehicle drop off? Or will a pickup point do it? There's there's separate. Her this one's got one. Vehicle pickup points. No, oh, okay. So I should be able to take this vehicle and go back to there, right? Oh my ass. You know, the worst kind of spoilers, there are actually levels of spoilers, a lot of people don't know this, but the worst kind of spoiler is when a person, right before a thing is going to happen, tells you it's going to happen. It's one thing if they tell you that a thing's going to happen, and it's like, and you're, and it's a movie or something, and you're not going to see it for a few years, it's like not a huge deal, but it's a completely separate animal if... Like, you're in the middle of a video game, and they're about to tell you, like, guess what, the final boss is not actually the final boss. Uh, they're gonna die, and, like, so and so is gonna replace them, you're actually gonna have to fight them, it's a huge betrayal. Like, if they say that shit, like, ten minutes before it's actually supposed to happen, or right in front of the door or something like that, that's even worse than a regular spoiler. I don't know why those guys exploded, but I suspect it was because of ticking. Alright, let me see if I can vehicle drop off this thing. Actually, can I fast travel back to that? No, that was What was that? I just did a side quest thing that wasn't asked of me yet. Have you seen Far Cry 6 trailer? Um... The very first one at E3, and no other one. Why? Did they spoil stuff in later trailers? Because that shit happens. Where is this drop-off point? I don't like that these drop-off points are not highlights that you can just go to. You know you can just scan cars with your mobile phone? I do know I can do that. My biggest problem is knowing exactly where to drop off a vehicle. Hold on. Because what I need is little blue signage, and sometimes it hasn't always triggered correctly. I'm trying to get this medical supply thing dropped off. 
Is there a telltale sign I'm missing? Like flags or something that always go off? Here. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this area. But it's like not marked on the map. So wait, how do I get to... Oh, I drove past it. Can I back up? Probably not. I don't see where Kitty is. I've scanned many cars, but not all cars. Look out, dude. Okay, so if I go around this corner... Oh! Transport vehicle. And 50 medicine. That's exactly what I wanted. I asked about the trailer because if, you, if you've seen the trailer, you know the flying car and I can talk about it without spoiling it. Oh! Well, no. I didn't see the trailer about the flying car, so you totally spoiled it. It's not... It's not a huge deal, but you did that. That's true. <laughs> that did just happen. <laughs> Some people get ang more angry at like I I'm not I'm not like real talk. If I haven't played a Metroid game and you start talking about the um the items that you get in the Metroid game, like I Items is a big part of just doing the game. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Like, that may seem silly, and maybe it is. But, like, if you're like, Oh, yeah, can you believe that you, you know, get the bombs, like, five minutes into the game? I'd be like, man, I don't want to know. Like, sure, you could say there are bombs in the game. Probably are. And I'm not, like, hurt by it knowledge wise but i part of the game is getting the stuff and if you're just going to tell me the stuff and where the stuff is and how quickly you get the stuff then that's actually a big chunk of those games is what the stuff is and how you acquire it it's also in store stores in every store car store plane store you never see it i'm very sorry then um What kind of stores? You mean the in-game store? I almost never look at the in-game store in Ubisoft games. They don't deserve my money. Uh, There's a store thing here somewhere, right? You mean the in-game store? Because if you mean physical stores, sir, or madam, uh, I live in America, and I don't risk going outside right now. I kind of deserve that. I heard those things and I still let them explode on me. The drop of spots? Oh, that reminds me, where is my panther? Did they explode at some point? Yes, they must have exploded at some point. I don't remember. There's a there's a flying car in the shop. I, in case, yeah, I, I do a lot of this game by foot. So that's, it's not a huge deal. I'm not mad about it. But like, did I know about it before you asked? No. Did I actually know about it and somebody 20 episodes in the comments is going to be like, Hunter Money was right here and like two months ago when you were playing the game, you already came across this and you commented on it. Because I have bad memory sometimes, a lot of times. Remember how I talked about doing editing and stuff like that? Uh, there are numerous times I have now been able to visibly catch myself saying, oh, I've never done that before or oh, I've never seen that before and literally that same thing happened like what was equivalent to like three or four episodes earlier.
Well, this looks important. And it's got military dudes on it. On Ron. I'm at McKay important. Global Offices. Oh, McKay. I didn't I've heard know of McKay. his operation was this big. Enorme. That Yankee does his business at that office, at the port, and in the capital. Oh, do you know if McKay's here now? Gilbert, those people say no, but who knows? And if you ever cross paths with that Yankee, say hi for me with a machete. Ooh, I like a machete. I just realized my preview window is going underneath my start bar. Ugly building for an ugly business. Okay, we're going to do our best to tag everybody. If I had an open window, I would throw a track grenade. Oh, hello, person. Military clerk. I can't tell what they are. None of those windows are open. What brings you to uh, my neck of the woods, Jason? You just looking for somebody playing Far Cry? Out of curiosity, if you don't mind saying. I'm always interested in how people are finding me so that I can might maybe embellish that so that they could find me even better in the future. Hmm. What's over here? Oh, these are just two guys on patrol? Three guys on patrol. Four guys. Dog. Two sets of two guys. Oh, and a dog. No security system, though? Interesting. Not necessarily trespassing. Like watching some Far Cry streams and I check for streamers with less viewers. That's a place where you meet the cool people. I mean, I don't know if I'm the cool people, but I try to be as cool as possible. Oh, that person's actually down in stairs. Hmm. Anybody got a camera? Let me take your medical supplies. Oh. Is that tint approaching? I don't think it is. F and D. What do we got? Oh, gunpowder. Resolver material. This looks like a place where some plot will happen later. Read button. Handwritten note. Ideas for book lessons I wish my father had taught me. If you, one, if you don't apologize, it's not your fault. Okay. Two, hate your children. They will still love you and you'll only make them stronger. The fuck? Three, pets will eat your face to survive, so will children. Four, everyone is a victim. 
Five, when everyone is a victim, no one is a victim. Ubisoft and their political games, that seems very conservative. Oh, hey, it's one of the cigar cases. Totally forgot I was collecting those. Jason says, I meant it's the place where you meet people who are funny, who like to talk, and who are happy about every viewer. If you got streamers with 1,000 viewers, you're just an icon. That's true. I've noticed that the more the more, the more more people who are uh, in a chat... Oh, hello. Master Key. For ease of your visit and mandate by El Presidente, find the enclosed Master Key to La Joyce Pipeline substations as requested. Wait. Was that the same key I could have used a few minutes ago? In any event, um, yeah, I've noticed that the more viewers a streamer has, I don't know if becoming less personal. I don't, I wouldn't see myself becoming less personal. It is harder to, if you will, wrangle the chat. So there is that. But also, um, you're more likely to have uh, bad people in the chat <laughs> that are trolls or are there to see you fail and stuff. Hey dude, you seem to be guarding some stuff and you've just been pretending to check this stereo thing for like 20 minutes. So, uh... Oh, that's right. I forgot she piffs bodies. Come on, Oluso. Let's roll. Go, Oluso. Go. Alright, did I pick up the stuff in this room I said I could pick up? Oluso. Uh, you know, on that note, Jason, hey, you know, if you if you think that you might could be back if I am somewhat entertaining, um then consider following on the channel, you know? You or anybody else who might be watching. And if you already did and I missed it, I'm sorry. My sound effects are not always playing like they're supposed to. I have to hold everything together with digital glue and duct tape. You know how it is. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. There you go. You're getting exactly what you were talking about. Very appreciative of the follow, and that I might possibly see you again someday would be very nice. Uh, I have a poll going on right now. If you want to vote on what games you'd like to see me play on stream, you can do exclamation point vote in the chat. Currently second place is Far Cry 6, which is why I'm playing it. It is a list of approximately 60 games that people would like to see me, or might like to see me finish or complete if I've already finished it. And you get to pick your top five, and it's ranked choice voting. Because that's what we need in America, is ranked choice voting. Actually, it's what you need in lots of places. Um, I say that, though, there probably will be a new poll going up... Um, tomorrow or the day after but i mean that'll be on my about page oh and if you want to see my very very tiny youtube channel that's exclamation point youtube in the chat hmm i had a machete kill option a second ago Oh, 
Oh, hello, document. Scrawled list. Even though it's totally digital and there is no scrawled list. Buy some yarn gifts for me. The family. Wife. Made by poor people shit. Woven hat and or basket candles. Throw basket. Chocolate. Daughter number one. Roman cigars. Clothing. Nothing sl not slutty. Number two. Revolution painting. Clothing. Chunky. Chunky teen girl size. Oh my god, dude. Daughter number three. Scenic painting. Clothing. Kid size. The side ladies. Jane. Toronto. Joy, New York. Josephine, West Palm Springs. Lisa, Halifax. Michelle, London, England. Wait, why didn't you say Toronto... Toronto, Canada, New York, USA, but, but, but you're saying London, England. Michelle, London, England. Anna Marie, London, or Ontario. London, Ontario? Oh. Any event... Awesome gear notes too. Six of 143 collected. Oh, what have I done to myself? Hey, dude. Oh, dude, it. Oh, wait. You're um. You're a military dude who's gonna give me military info, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not. You have a dude, like, captive. I need a break. Jason says, It's funny how different our playstyle is. Usually I go Hitman style with silenced pistols, fast and professional, six enemies, six headshots, and done. The more into exploring while killing, I do that after the building is clean. Oh, I mean, yeah, I love that this game series supports both of those options. Um, however, I am... Oh. I... Hold on, wait. I am not great at first-person shooters. So I lean on whatever makes me better at them. And I, I lean on the stealth, I guess is what I would say. Like, for example, my kitty, when they kill people, they go, um... Uh, the, their bodies vanish. Gracias, mija. Which helps with being stealthy. And on that note, let's take a look at the map. What is this? Ambush. So that would be a firefight. We could do that. And on that note, as I was trying to say, for anybody who's watching later on YouTube, I thank you for watching. This has been Far Cry 6, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I have been Huntermon, and I will see you in the future. As soon as I properly hit the button that ends the record, like it was supposed to, but it didn't take. I don't know. Here, let me try that again.